Are you? Hey guys, I am back in the greenhouse. It's really hot in here. I'd said to hope the sun would come out and warm it up and it's 85 degrees in here. So actually even a little warm, <laughs> but it's nice. And it is time to start our first seeds of 2021. Let's do it. Feels good to be back in the greenhouse again, getting things started for this year. It's nice to take our winter break that we took this year, but it's really good to get started again. Right now, we are going to be planting kohlrabi. We're starting broccoli, some bok choy, and our onions. First seeds of the year, kohlrabi. It's awfully quiet out here without my normal little helper. You guys know she likes to talk. But she's inside working on some schoolwork. And I gotta get these going, so. Yeah, it's warm enough in here today that our window is actually opened. If you've seen our greenhouse video, you know that we have the automatic window opener. I'll show you guys here in a second. Um, so anytime the temperature starts rising, the window just automatically opens. Here's that window opener I was telling you about. I don't know if you can see it really well. There's wax actually in the cylinder and as it heats up, it pushes the window open. As it cools down, it shuts again. So that makes it nice on warmer days. Let's all the heat or some of the heat out. It helps it vent. And then we've got this fan in here that we use Mostly in the summer when it really gets warm in here, we'll have the shade cloth on, open the windows all the way up, and have the fan going. That's probably a better angle. <laughs> you can see it a little better now. Alrighty, next is broccoli. I am doing two varieties this time. You can read all the books and ask all the people what varieties are the best, but in reality, until you try it yourself, on your property, in your zone, in your yard, <laughs> You just never really know. So experiment, see which ones you like. What works really great for someone that you, you know, watch on YouTube or somebody you read a book about may not work at all for you. And you might get discouraged thinking that you didn't have success growing that particular crop, but maybe just try a different variety. Because all of our zones are different and even just the microclimate of your own property is going to be a little bit different so if you don't succeed the first time try again with something different or even experiment with a little variety of everything one year he likes to talk you hear that rooster back there We've had some questions about our shelves and um, measurements, how, you know, the size they are, how high they are. So this bottom shelf is 32 inches and it is 19 and a half inches deep and of course 12 feet long because it's a 12 foot greenhouse. So we can fit 13 trays across the shelf and this top one is 17 inches higher and it is only 13 and a half inches deep and that's just so to make ease of watering for the bottom shelf and uh, it'll still fit just as many or we can turn the trays sideways like that if we just need a little more support but most of the time we'll just leave it like this and it still works fine it's hanging over a little but not too bad
say hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> right All right, last thing I'm planting today are onions. And we are doing the Texas Early Grano. We did. We have a whole video on our onions that we planted last year, and overall, we were very happy with that. And probably going to keep everything just about the same. The only two changes we're doing is we're starting earlier, simply because last year we were still waiting on the seeds to get here. We wanted to start the first week of January, but we didn't have seeds till probably a couple weeks after that. And then last year when we planted them, when we first started the seed, we just broadcast them in one of our bootstrap farmer trays, um, which was fine, except then that caused us to have to come back later and separate them and put them in deeper pots to give the roots a chance to actually grow longer. So this year we're going to plant them much the same broadcast style where there's a heavy planting of them, but we're going to go ahead and plant them in deeper pots. Um, just that way we hopefully don't have to separate them out and repot them. We'll just be able to move them straight from here to the ground when we're ready for that. Got them on here pretty heavy. I'm just going to cover them, let them grow, and hopefully we won't have to move them again until we're separating them out to put them in the ground. Mm -hmm. We'll link that onion video. Be sure and check it out. Um, it's just showing our first year going from seed to harvest. And we had more onions than we needed for the year. We ended up with, I think, 400 onions. So, and they're pretty. We have a drawer of them. So be sure and check it out. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I beat the sun. I got a little company finally here at the end, so I wasn't by myself the whole time. Didn't get a huge start, but definitely got what we needed started. So we have our first seeds of 2021 in the soil. Yep. You excited about that? Uh-huh. Yeah, me too. So you guys tell us what you have started or are starting or planning on starting a couple of months if you're our friends up north. And we get to start the job of bringing these back and forth inside the house to keep them warm so they germinate well, but <laughs> that's just the way it goes every year, isn't it? All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.